With an extra spring in their step, John and Jesse Davidson began the culmination of a four-month odyssey of love and devotion. The journey began on May 20th, 1995. John pushed Jesse across the province to raise money for gene research. His journey will help researchers get closer to their finish line, a cure. I've made a commitment to cross Canada, taking 10 million steps to raise $10 million to create the Jesse Davidson Endowment Fund which will provide a million dollars in research money every year, forever. And that is a lasting tribute to a very courageous youngster. When your child is diagnosed with something which is definitely life-threatening, you are totally unprepared. So your world just absolutely flips upside down. The boys were diagnosed through a teacher at Caleb's school. She noticed that uh, in comparison with the other children that he was sometimes a little slower on stairs and suggested that we see a pediatrician. We were then sent for some genetic testing, uh, which then came back positive for both boys and for myself to be a carrier. It was one of those shockers. What is muscular dystrophy is the first question. and realize that this isn't really the path that we thought we were going down. At first it's the honeymoon phase, so there's not a whole lot of extra needs or anything. Regular boys, walking, playing, doing the things other kids are doing, and slowly as time progresses they lose their, their abilities to do those things. And it was something really hard. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a genetically based disorder, a disorder that affects boys and causes a gradual decline in all their muscle functions throughout the body. So not just arm and leg movement, but also heart and lungs. It doesn't end well. The kids who are affected by this have a gradual decline in their muscle function. Most young men with Duchenne would pass away between the ages of, of 22 and 27 years of age. Duchenne is such a brutal disease um, that takes away from these kids' lives. And so I think there's a, an urgent and huge need for new therapies for Duchenne. And I can tell you, 15 years ago, we were always saying gene therapy and muscular dystrophy, it's never going to happen. Today, there are about four clinical trials to commence for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And we obviously need only one of them to work, but if they do, then we may finally have that game-changing breakthrough that we all have been waiting for. We haven't really gotten to the point that one of these potential game-changing therapies has translated into true success. But it's like almost there. We have a disease that I think is kind of on the run, and I think there's a chance that we'll see it erased in my lifetime. Jesse's journey does two things. One, provides families with hope, and in a monetary sense, it provides the research community with the dollars they need to get the job done. I partner with Jesse's journey because it is the only foundation in Canada that donates 100% to research. The more money we can get towards research, the more that can happen. It provides hope to families like myself. Originally, when I first started out in this, I thought, how can I possibly raise enough money to make a difference? But it can. A $10 donation can be significant. All that we have accomplished so far is just the beginning. The reality is, you know, a drug just doesn't jump out of the lab and, and into a person. There's lots of steps along the way. It's a very expensive, labor-intensive, and time-intensive endeavor. Jesse's journey has been a critical player in neuromuscular research in Canada. The dream is to take something that is that debilitating and make it manageable, make it something curable, make it something that, you know, my children one day don't have to worry about. Jesse's journey is all about hope. If you have a tomorrow to look forward to, instead of uh, this fear that you just don't know when your loved one is going to be uh, snatched away. You know, hope, it, it gives people the fight to, the fight to, the will to live, the will to keep going, keep pushing. They're working on it. And 
you know, one day we might have that cure. Well, the ultimate dream would be that Duchenne doesn't exist anymore. My hope is that we can at least stunt it so it stops and I can have my boys. Kind of funny that somebody who didn't walk left such a big pair of shoes to fill. The hope that he gave boys who are like him, for a lot of Duchenne families, maybe at night when you put your head on the pillow, that's really all you have. The idea of hope, it, it allows you to think, I have a chance.